What do the colours of the upper chakras represent? And how can they encourage well-being in the body? In a previous video, we discovered the significance of the colours relating to the lower chakras in the body. In this video, we will look at the colours relating to the upper chakras and what they represent in regards to promoting well-being and healing. The fifth chakra is the throat chakra and is located in the throat area above the heart chakra. The colour associated with this chakra is light blue which is incredibly soothing and relaxing. It reminds us of sunny skies and calming water and is recommended for those who suffer from inflammation, high blood pressure, headaches, heart problems, burns, epilepsy, teeth issues, menstrual discomfort and shock. It can however appear cold to some people so avoid blue if you are feeling depressed or unwell. The sixth chakra is the third eye and is located between the eyebrows above the throat chakra and the colour associated is, is indigo. This is a colour of concentration, leadership, planning and structure. And as it is the colour of the third eye, it encourages insight and tuning into your spiritual self. Hence this is a popular colour amongst those who are seeking an inner focus and guidance. The seventh and final major chakra is the crown and is located just above the head and the third eye. There are often two colours associated with this chakra, purple and white. The colour purple represents royalty, but it is mainly linked to spirituality and connecting with the higher self. Those wishing to form a deeper spiritual connection within may benefit from wearing purple as it helps to expand consciousness and awareness and is also beneficial for lowering blood pressure and helping to heal broken bones. It is best to avoid purple however if you are prone to anger as it can only make it develop further and can also cause fatigue. White is the colour of weddings christenings and purity. It contains all of the other colours and therefore can amplify the effects. It is fresh and clean but also calming and helps with infections and fevers. Hence many hospital rooms are painted white for this reason. The disadvantages are it can cause you to feel inhibited and at times lethargic and of course it is not an easy colour to clean. The benefits of wearing and associating yourself and your surroundings with the right colours for you are vast and include making you look better, but more importantly have a positive impact on the way you feel, helping to alleviate symptoms of illness and promote health and well-being in every aspect of our mind and body.